Hey guys, welcome back to another Wrath of the Lich King classic gold making video. And in this one, I've got a super good farm that I'm really excited to be showing you guys. It's pretty much a hidden farm that not many people know about, so it's kind of a secret. And what it is, is this cave right behind us. So, where we are, we're in the Storm's Peak, in this cave right here. So the cave just to the west side of it. So right here, it's Storm Peaks. Um, that is where you'll find this cave and now the cool thing about this cave is that there's these mobs in here and they drop the relic of Aldera or however you pronounce it I'll pop it up on the screen right now but they drop a whole heap of these and these sell super super good you're also going to be getting your frost with cloth from these guys and a whole heap of raw gold BOEs and a chance of like some epic BOEs also and now you can do some AOE pulls, but you don't need an AOE pull class. This can be done on absolutely any class whatsoever. You can, um, they're mainly gonna be packs of like one or two that you're pulling inside of here. Now, to increase the amount of gold you actually can make in here, if you have mining and you have herbalism, you can actually um, pick and mine a few nodes inside of this cave while you're farming, and they'll respawn back like every five minutes. It's right there, so they're the relics of Aldra that you can see right there, and they sell super, super good right now. So that is the main item that we're gonna be farming in here, and you get a whole heap of them per hour. We did a bit of testing, and depending on your class, you can get roughly like 800 to 1K gold per hour farming here, depending on your server prices. But as you can see, they're, they're the two main loots we're gonna be getting. So the relic of Aldra, and your frost with cloth, they're really gonna add up the most. Now if you want more secret and really good gold farms, just like this one, I bought a whole heap inside of my gold making guide for Wrath Classic. I also go over like the best professions, classes, add-ons, everything you need to know about making gold in Wrath Classic is inside of my guide. So if you wanna check that out, it's the first thing down in the description box below this video. But back to this farm, Basically what you want to do is just stay in the cave. If you have two people in here, you can actually get them to hyper spawn. If you have another person on one side and you're on the, this side, then um, you basically can just kill them non-stop. However, if there's no one else in the cave, you basically just want to do a full loop around the cave and just repeat that. By the time you get back to the start, they will have respawned and be ready for you once again. So another um, profession that can help here if you don't have mining or herbalism and you happen to have enchanting, so that you can disenchant all of the BOEs that you get from here, all the green like junk BOEs, you'll be able to disenchant them and then sell the enchanting materials also. They'll make you a bit more gold than actually just straight up vendoring them, or a lot more gold, just because the prices of enchanting materials are so high at the moment, you will make way more gold by doing that. But as you can see, they're very, very weak. You'll probably come to your last few levels here and level up, if you really, really wanted to, it'd be a good way to make some decent gold by doing your last few levels. And because they spawn so quick back, you'll actually be making um, a decent amount of experience too, like per hour experience. So it's a very, very good place to come. But like, like obviously, if you are level 80, you're going to kill them a lot faster, which means you'll make a lot more gold. And also the more geared you are, the quicker they'll die so the quicker you'll make more loot and more gold. But not many people know about this farm, so I haven't had much competition. I believe there's one quest that goes through here where they need to get like, they need to get like five or 10 of the relic, rel relics of Aldra. Old, um, however, they don't stay in here for long. If they come in here to do the quest, um, they knock that out. That's probably the only people I've seen come in here. There's like a couple quest people over the hours of doing this. So it's a very, very secret farm that I don't think a lot of people know about. As you can see, they've already like respawned on top of us, which is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now you are going to get a whole heap of BOEs. As you can see, we've got like a few greens already. So what I'll be doing with them is simply just mail mailing them into my enchanting character. And I'll disenchant on there and simply either use them to make enchanting scrolls to sell or just straight up sell the enchanting materials. Alright guys, anyways, that is it for this secret hidden farm. Come out here, give it a go yourself. 
it's a great farm to do anyways hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel for the future content to the next one guys take care